Greetings, Jedi traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for week 13, day two. It is Tuesday, March 28th, 2017. As always, please seek financial advisement when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only. To support your knowledge of the market, see what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. All right, uh, Jedi Traders, it is Tuesday, Super Tuesday. You would have never known based on last night's price action. Remember, yesterday's performance and overnight Globex never an indicator of where we might be headed in the next session. And today, pulling it out on all three indices, roaring to the upside after the Globex downtrend, the AM session chop with pockets of trend. Unable to gain any footing until the pre-European close with strong momentum upside finishing through on the PM session and eventually chopping at the MML, Murray Math level highs for the day. In contrast, the gold and the yen and the euro selling off. All right, let's uh, jump into where uh, 15 minutes prior to the each day market uh, action on the pre-market trend based on the Globex daily outlook. Post here, 15 minutes. There were our econ highlights for the day. Always make sure you check out Mr. Ken Polkari's morning insight based on the micro view of the market. Vic sitting at 12.60 coming down from the previous sessions. We were looking at a screen share. Where? We want the top rows all in the green and the bottoms in the red. Looks good. Are we to continue in that direction? That was yet to be seen, but a eventually pre-market move downside. Very strong to the downside. 51.44 cloud EMA off the one-minute chart. Holding underneath the daily VWAPs. Weekly VWAP indicated here with the W holding at the Globex low. It was all downside. And there was the big picture on the screen share about 30 minutes prior to the market open. NASDAQ, we were looking at a high 81.90, 54.29. I think we rang that bell up there as the markets uh, not only hit the 5400, but managed to get up to almost 54. 26 here today in the highs and the low 53.51 for the day 53.51 was the low we were looking at on the MML levels and coming around 53.63 ish uh, not really being able to tag those lower numbers so Good call on the upside as price action turned itself around. All right, NQ pre-market, that's what we're looking at. 15-minute chart. We're also looking at a five-minute chart as well, not on the screen here. As price action consolidating up here at the highs of the MML, major support resistance after the Globex. Again, yesterday, that's exactly what we're looking for, resistance, first level, post-action, uh, pre-action, uh, Prior to the market open, again, bounce back off major support resistance. So anything downside, we would have been looking down here. Anything back to the upside, we were starting to look up here to the highs, 54.29. But again, price action uh, just shy of that. Nice move. We'll take a look at the 60-minute chart here in a little bit. But it was the NQ Globex holding upside for the most part. A uh, good portion of the market net long holding above... Uh, Yesterday's close and the 600-day VPOC. All right, so there's our market profile and our analysis on the Murray Math Levels. Again, each and every day we're looking for the setup on the Heiken Ashi bars, on the HA bars, which we will look here momentarily at. Yes, we were looking at... I apologize, Jedi Traders. I believe... Hang on a second make sure we had the same uh, pre-market trend unless I decided to uh, hang on a second 
All right, I must not have uh, must not have uh, erased that. That's all right. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Anyway, levels to the upside we're looking at this morning: twenty three forty four, twenty three fifty nine. 2375. Well, I think we claim close to the upper levels up here. 2359. Downside on the ES today. We were looking at uh, lows around 2328 and coming down here to about 2334. Taking a look at the short term pick on the ES pre market there. We were same picture as the Yang Q. Major sport resistance was the reject on the Globex. Anything to the upside, we're going to start to look to 2359. Downside, we were looking first levels. 2328 which uh we never got down to reset on the 15 minute chart throughout the session gave us some upper levels we'll look here in a moment es globex tpo there it was price action holding here there was the vpoc and poc from yesterday's pretty much net long there and shadow trader analysis there each posted each morning a little bit more intense here on the price action most recently you can check that out always at his website or enroll for his daily subscribe to his daily newspaper or uh, pre-market analysis this morning a little bit late there about five minutes before the market opened took me a while to read that the first 30 minutes of trading all right so overnight inventory was pretty much balanced to net long this morning all right so where are we going well guys as they say every every day Got to be ready in both directions. And both directions means being ready on the HA bars on both sides. All right, there was our session highlights for today. Taking a look at the uh, some of the key charts here as price action moved. There was the ES. A uh, little bit of chop action this morning. Highest probability setups on the Heikadashi bars. Knowing our MML levels on the higher time frames. Watching on the... Not only the 15 minute, but watching on the five minute gave us a lot of chop action on all the indices here. Again, no indicator of strategy here other than to know, like any other market internal, where the support resistance levels are, which gave you an opportunity. Otherwise, on the breakout above the cloud here, breakout below, breakout above, and then below, or waiting for the highest probability setups, which would have put you in a move over here at post 17 minutes of the market open and waiting for all in the green here, break above the daily VWAP with the 51.44 and to the upside, all in the green, which puts you up at the MML levels high on the five minute charts. Well, was it the ES alone? No, it was all three indices popping to the upside that gave you an opportunity as the ES continued to climb up on a 5.4 flex rate keeping you in the trend with the MML on now the 15 minute all the way up here to 47.75. ES rolling out the AM session. There she was holding to the upside on a couple pullbacks on the tails of two red Heikadashi bars. No reason to bail. Just an opportunity to bring the stop up to the resistance up here. Also on the five minute bar. Nice move on the MMLs. All right, so there were some of the key charts uh, looking at today. Let's see how uh, price action. Oh, I got another chart. Wonderful chart for you. Here it is. NQ. Ah, there we go. NQ AM session as well. There it is. Price action again, similar to the ES. To the downside, post 17 minutes gives you a, either an entry off or under the clouds, above the clouds, or waiting for the highest probability setups together with the MML, both on the 15 minute and the five minute drive to the upside here. All right, so per pi perfect picture, picture perfect setups here as both the top row and the bottom row. As you can see, the HA bars underneath the cloud here on the GC, the gold and the yen and the euro to the downside as the three ripped to the upside. I'm not saying you're a multitasker and you got your hands on all the markets, but whatever you were playing, you had an opportunity for a setup here today. All right, so NQ rolling out the session here. Chops at the tops as we got up to the highs here. Opening price 74.50, closing out around 54.05. Two setups AM session, followed through through the PM session on the long move to the upside on the NQ. Same picture on the YM, but not as much deep pullback here. Pretty much holding to the open, giving you an opportunity. Might have taken the small entry here 
I don't know if you got caught there, but again, price action banking back to the upside in the green. Nice move, pull back pretty deep. Gives you a re-entry opportunity here. Price action pulling far enough away from the setup. Gave you an opportunity to move the stop from break even to the low and moving all the way to the highs. Nice move on the YM man. Following through with the ES. Yes, nice sweet move. Both downside moves, but there was the move of the session. HA bars holding up from the open. 34.75 and 51.50. I don't say this with ease, Jedi traders. I say this with a trade management that keep, puts you in. And as long as what we teach, get that first contract off, then the opportunity to move your stop to break even. And if price action runs in trend, then you have an opportunity to let your winners run. All right, take a look at the uh, TPO. There was price action coming around to the 600A VPOC, finding support there and bouncing right back up on the NQ and the ES by profile, TPO profile here, time profile, as price action lifted in today's session. All right, let's jump into the charts. Here's our volume profile. Again, you see the support here around the 600A VPOC. Nice move, a little bit imbalanced, 70% of the range volume today. Not much on the outlier, so a weak high up here. We'd like to get some uh, price action to have extended on a nice bell curve. All right, so there's our market profile leading into tomorrow. Again, open points of control exist here. 54.14 and 23.57 on the ES. Daily gaps still remain as we uh, continue to migrate here on the NQ back up to the highs. 54.41, got a little bit of a trail to get back up there on the ES and the YM, but Super Tuesday comes out and two days upside on the weekly open. Taking a look at some of the charts all across the board. There it is to the downside here at the end. Nice move that we saw that picture here as price action all across the board pulling back and the NQ and the three indices to the upside. Gold also being able to uh, pull out a little bit of a move here around late AM session. Up to the upside here, all in the green, breaks above the Globex high as we wait on the EIA tomorrow. All right, take a look ahead as we roll into tomorrow. Where do we sit currently into the Globex session? You might say that the Globex might just follow through with the move to the upside. Well, that's okay. Again, check your charts, make sure the trend is there, and follow the HA bars to keep you in the trend. 15 minute chart. Here on the ES, holding at the upper highs, look for the revisit up here to 2357 or 59 upside, all the way up to 67. There's your levels to the upside. Looking to the downside, major sport resistance down here at 4375. Pullback all the way down to 2336. I'm not sure our Globex, but it's always possible pre-market might drive it down. So be ready in both directions on the ES. There are your levels for tonight and we will reassess in the am session take a look at the ym price action now holding at the highs on the ym impressive from one end upside to the overbought on the 15 minute all across the board resistance resistance so we got some resistance up here all the way up here to 703 price action again to the upside, look for the revisit on the Globex 664 and upside up to 684. Any pullback 50% 547. And looking to the NQ, both the four hour, 60 minute, and 50 minute. Appreciate that both on the five minutes. There we go, our five minute chart hitting up at the reversal, batching up 54, 24, 75, same levels. Watch for the pullback all the way down here to halfway, 53, 90, 75. Anything upside, we'll be looking to back revisit the highs from today, 54.24. And then we have our pre-market session, which we will reassess in the AM. All right, Jedi traders, looking to tomorrow, economics-wise on the calendar, price action following through in the morning with MBA mortgage applications. Fed speakers continue through the week, both Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, Brexit and end of the month trading, EIA Petroleum. So each and every day, opportunities in the market for trend. Hopefully we don't get just a chop session tomorrow. Consolidation will always lead though to another breakout either way. 
All right, that concludes an insight into the daily trend and technical momentum of the indices and key futures markets. Those are your levels for tonight. We'll reassess in the AM session. Feel free to stop by at least pre-market. Feel free to stop by at tradingfibs.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My trading mantra, one simple strategy, any market, any chart, any time frame will keep you disciplined. You can find me every day on Twitter at tradingfibs. And as always, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. I'm only watching what's in front of me and on my charts. And as always, please leave the bias at the door when trading. If you guys had a sense that the market was supposed to be up, it's supposed to be down, it doesn't matter. You have to be ready in both directions, as we saw on the charts today on the ES. It was choppy in the AM session. Let me remind you of what that looked like. Again, oh, hang on. We got a better chart here. There it is, ES. There it is. Absolutely no buys here. Just watching the charts, watching the trend. You're in hopes that market action will lift here. And look what it does to you. Nothing deep enough to hold one in a setup here. You bail. Hopefully you got some contracts off. You try it again. You try it again. You keep trying until you got a move that just runs away from you. That's the idea. That's what we go over each day with the trade management. So if you are interested in joining us, our community of like-minded traders seeking those highest probability setups, please feel free to email me, david at tradingfibs.com. You may join us any Thursday or Friday to view the live chart setups as they happen in the trading day. Wherever you may be, have yourself a blue zone day. If there's anything I've forgotten, I'm sure I will remind you both on Twitter, in the trading room, or in tomorrow's session. Have yourselves a good day, a good night, and good trading to you.